Do you want to see more of your monday.com tasks in one place? Or maybe you need vital information in multiple boards, but duplicating the data as a workaround? Don't worry, we've all been there. Thankfully, there's a solution to this, and it comes in the form of connect and mirror columns. And in this video, we'll break down how you can utilize them in your monday.com workflow. Monday.com columns of data are stored against the item. When you move the item to a different group in your board, it brings the data from the columns with it. But unlike a traditional spreadsheet, Monday.com items are more dynamic. If you want to reference a value from a column somewhere else, you can't simply use a formula to reference another board. This is where connecting and mirroring columns come in. The connect column sets up a link between two or more boards to connect items together. You'll be asked to pick boards to connect to and whether the link needs to be two-way. The column acts as a host for the item data from the board it's linked with, so you need to state which item from that board that it's taking data from. With this in place, adding a mirror column then does what the name suggests. Pick the column from the linked board that you want to show data from, and it will present the information related to the item you stated in your connect column. To demonstrate how this looks, here is a simple board in monday.com that displays the inventory of a small number of products from an online retailer. They have two warehouses for storage, but want to bring all of the stock information into one place. It's shown here in three groups, video games, Blu-ray discs, and board games. The inventory board is able to give you an overview of stock across both warehouses using Kinect columns and mirrors. With each item, there is a connect column that connects this board to another one. Let's say you want to bring the stock numbers for your two warehouses into this board. Start by creating a connect column, clicking select boards, and then selecting your first warehouse before hitting connect boards. This is typically a one-way feed, so information will only flow from the warehouse board to this one. But if you need information to flow between both, then you can check this create a two-way connection option and the connect column will automatically appear in the connected board. In this instance, it would appear in the board for the first warehouse. Now you can start adding mirrors which will mirror column values from the board that the connected column is connected to. Once created, click on the three dots of the new mirror column and go to customize mirror column in the settings. The drop down will show you the columns in your warehouse one board. The stock numbers are stored in the inventory column, so pick this one. You can rename the mirror column so you know what's being brought through. Finally, you need to pick an item to connect to this one. As the products are the same name, you can click on the connect cell and pick the same named item. The mirror column will bring through the value of the stock column from warehouse one to this mirror. Repeat this process for warehouse two and you'll see the entire stock from both of your boards. And the great thing about mirror columns is that you can input changes here and it will change them on the board that the data is being mirrored from. So if you want to change the amount of stock you have in this board, you can change it in the mirror column here and it will change in the board where the information is being stored. No need to keep switching between boards. It will even aggregate multiple values if you connect more than one item from the same or multiple boards. So if you want a combined stock amount, adding a connect which is connected to both warehouses, adding the item from both warehouses, and then a mirror column for your stock column, the mirror column will add the value of the linked leads together for an overall value. How cool is that? You can use more than one connect column in a board that connects to different places. Connect and mirror columns will be color coded the same to identify where mirrored data is coming from. There are some limitations with the columns though to be weary of. The choice of one or two way connections can't be changed once created. If you decide later that you did want to create a two way connection, you would need to create the columns and mirrors again and reestablish the items that you connected. Overall, the connect and mirror columns introduce great functionality in the platform that reduces duplication and brings fluidity to your workflow. The example shown today is a fairly basic setup to demonstrate it, but the principles are worth your time experimenting with to get the most out of them. 
But if you'd like to see what an expert can do with your setup, we at Enable are a Monday.com preferred partner. Use the link in the description to book a meeting instantly with our professional services team. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and as always, have a fantastic day.